Hello, welcome to the channel, North Carolina Real Estate. And I'm your host, Ro Amazing. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the ultimate guide to finding high quality, high value section eight tenants. And I'm going to lay out some important secrets and details when it comes to um, vetting section eight tenants and it's not your credit score, it's not their credit score, it's not their income, or you've probably seen a whole host of videos in regards to finding quality tenants, but it's just paying attention to little details that's on the application. Now, if you're a Section 8 landlord, I'm going to show you how to get out of situations with HUD when they stop your income, when there's uh, a discrepancy of property issues and how to get out of the situation with HUD and also how to retire if you are very, very fed up with dealing with HUD in this Section 8 situation. So let's get into the video and I want to give you an example uh, from a deal I did with a Section 8 landlord in, in regards to him having his income stop when dealing with HUD in Section 8. So I was calling around and trying to find landlords that wanted to sell their properties. And one landlord that I had run into over the phone, just cold calling, he was a Section 8 landlord. There was a problem with his property now, Section 8 gives you passive income because Section 8 pays the rent. It pays a portion of, of the rent, probably most of the rent, and then the tenant pays their portion. Now, if that tenant was to lose their job, Section 8 would, would take over the whole 100%. And the reason why that I say is passive income because they pay it guaranteed monthly. So the only thing you have to do is... When that date where Section 8 is supposed to pay out, you just look in your bank account and that passive income is there. Not every situation goes smooth and easy when it's dealing with Section 8. So he had a situation where there was a discrepancy with the property. He sent contractors, he sent home improvement guys out there to fix it. And it wasn't up to the quality standards of the tenant. So if there's a problem with the property, HUD is going to send someone out there to check it. And if it's not deemed fixed, they will stop your income. And he was having all sorts of problems with HUD, stopping his income, and it was stressing him out. So what I did is I found another investor that would take over his property and he didn't sell it at the current market value took a little bit of discount because it was a headache to him and he was able to take that cash and go retire happily now if you know a landlord or a section 8 landlord that wants to retire um from Section 8 and want to get into a different type of investment, we are buying those properties cash. My information will be in the description below. Let me say it again. We are buying those properties cash. My information will be in the description below. If you are having problems with Section 8 um, over income, they stopped your income, we will take over the property and get that cash flowing over again. Don't hesitate to contact me. Now, finding high quality, high value Section 8 tenants. Let's do this. Credit scores. We know about credit scores. We know about income. We know about criminal history. But what we feel in this little detail is their employment. The employment. Now, when I say employment, I know you heard about employment before. You have to have good employment, good income, three times the rent, but you're hearing 10 times the rent. 
their income is supposed to be 10 times the rent. So when this little detail is during the pandemic, a lot of businesses closed down. A lot of businesses closed down because they were not essential. You want to make sure that Section 8 tenant, when, he, when they are working, their income is essential essential income even if they're not section 8 tenants because this is how you know you're gonna get your rent guaranteed no matter if the world ends or another pandemic comes in now when I say essential what I mean is most businesses some businesses stayed open because they dealt with medical and companies that deal with medical have to stay open during pandemics because they are deemed very important. Medical supplies, people need it. Pandemic, no pandemic, whatever the case is. Medicine, anything that does with medical. So you want to make sure that when it comes to your Section 8 tenant, that their job is going to be essential and you're going to still receive receive that portion of the payment that section 8 is not paying and that's very important to keep your revenue stream going so i'm here to help you keep money in your pocket get you out of situations when it comes to real estate and move swiftly from them and also profit at the same time now if you find this video helpful please like and also and i want to leave this very important note i'm here to make money for you and your family and put you in the most comfortable financial situation if you like this video i'll see you next video